Imp of the Sun is a side-scrolling platformer where you play as Nin, a fire imp created by the Sun God's last fart of a last resort to defeat the world's four boss guardians in any order and free the world of the darkness of the eternal eclipse caused by the Moon God, the game's final boss. In terms of platforming mechanics, you start off with your standard double jump, and as you explore the four domains of the main bosses, you unlock two more movement options, that being wall jumps and an air dash. Since you can tackle the bosses in whatever order you please, depending on what movement options you have or have not unlocked by the time you enter their zones, it can make traversal of their areas significantly easier and even allow you to shortcut through entire portions of an area if you have the right moves which the game does actively encourage you to do. I like that the game does this. It makes you feel like you outsmarted the developer's level design, even though you know they hoped you would take advantage of those kinds of bypasses all along. One nitpick I have though for the platforming is that your character jumps at a fixed height, no matter how hard you press the jump button, so on harder vertical jumps you'll need to space yourself just right to hit your mark but the platforming precision you'll need overall is very lenient, and there's only a single room that I would classify as a hard room in the entire game that requires precise positioning, but that's at the very end of the game. There's combat in the game too. You won't be jumping on enemy heads like Mario. You'll be spamming the X button to throw out basic combos, but the game pushes you towards mastering air juggling because most enemies are defenseless in the air. In fact, every time you hit an enemy in the air, your character will elevate a little higher too, so it's possible to stay in the air, air juggling enemies indefinitely, if you are skilled enough. You also have some special attacks like this fireball that you can launch after comboing enemies for a bit. But now I want to get into the game's difficulty. There are two difficulty levels. There's a normal difficulty when you start the game, and after you beat that, you unlock Eclipse Mode, which is the game's hard mode. On normal difficulty, the game has almost a childlike gentleness to the player. Whenever you are near a source of fire, you can hold the Y button to regain hit points, and these sources of fire are very generously placed. In fact, in the desert biome, you can heal anywhere the sun is shining. Enemies frequently drop health pickups as well, and if you lose health in a platforming section, most of the time a torch will be right there to fully heal you again and they are present in boss fights as well, so if you time your healing, you can trade a lot of hits with them. I'd even say that Imp of the Sun is a great contender for a young kid's first ever platforming game experience. The central characters have cute designs, their personalities are bubbly and kind, environments are bright and colorful, it's like everything would fit in a children's storybook perfectly. So, if you're a parent that wants a nice, safe game to introduce your young kids to gaming in general, I would definitely recommend Imp of the Sun. They'll have a great time with it. But... But... That's really the only kind of demographic I would feel comfortable recommending it to, and I'll explain why. First off, the game's hard mode, Eclipse Mode itself, does feel like a completely different experience, but it's still not that hard. Most of the level layouts are changed pretty dramatically for increased difficulty. There's less torches around for healing, but not by much. And enemies drop less health pickups when defeated, but again, not by much. There are still sources of healing during the boss fights though, and they are even easier the second time through because you have all of your abilities from the get-go. If I had to give a comparison in difficulty, normal mode is about as painful as a bubble popping on your nose. Eclipse mode is as painful as a pebble stuck in your sock, but you already got your shoe on and that motherfucker is tight, and you don't feel like bending down to undo your laces. But my biggest criticism for Imp of the Sun is the game's total playtime. On release, the game cost $20, but it only took me 4 hours to beat the game on its standard difficulty, and under 3 hours to beat it on Eclipse mode. I even got the achievement for beating it under 3 hours on Eclipse Mode, and a large part of that was because you get to keep all of your abilities from the previous playthrough, so zipping through levels was no problem at all. So for my $20, my total playtime on Steam 
was 6 hours and 40 minutes with both difficulties completed. What little there is is still good, I did still enjoy my short time with the game even if it was on the easy side. The music was great, the level design is solid, combat was functionally sound, the bosses were fun both times through, but god damn it because of that short play time, on principle I have a hard time recommending it at full price to experienced gamers. There's just simply not enough meat on its bones for that price tag in my opinion. For all the gamers that don't have problems shitting their pants and sucking their thumbs anymore, a game needs to be exceptional. A game you'll think about for a long time after finishing, or something you'll replay over and over again for me to recommend it at that kind of price to game time ratio, and Imp of the Sun, unfortunately, is not that kind of game. Most of us will beat the game on its two difficulties, but then never touch it again after that. Again, any parent that wants to introduce their young children to the joys of gaming, Imp of the Sun is a great starting game. Go ahead and buy it at full price, if you can afford it. Don't fucking be like, <sighs> Hey kiddo. Listen, um, there, there's gonna be no dino tarts for dinner today. Daddy had to go out and buy some cigarettes, otherwise... You'd have to help me clean up mommy from the ceiling. But, you know, I got you this cool game instead. So... Go and have fun with that, and we'll eat something tomorrow, I promise. If you get hungry, you know, just be a big boy and power through it. You'll be fine, you're not gonna die. Not before your mother, anyway. In conclusion, though, for the rest of my hardcore gaming bros, if you're interested in Imp of the Sun, I'd recommend only getting it when it's on sale. 